Energy healing is one of the oldest practices known in the world today. Since 4000 BC, healers have understood that our health greatly depends on the quality of energy that flows through and makes up our bodies. Science has verified this through years of research and discoveries. In 1918, Max Planck, a German physicist, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics and became known as the father of quantum theory. He states concerning his study of atoms, There is no matter as such. Matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force which brings this particle of an atom to vibration and holds this most minute solar system of the atom together. In 1921, Albert Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his vital role in the development of quantum physics, the study of the smallest units of energy. His conclusion? Energy is all there is. Not many people believed in this theory at first, until about a decade later. Robert Andrews Millikan, another American physicist, proved it through his experiments. In 1939, Simon Krillian, a Russian electrical technician, discovered what is now known as Krillian photography, using pulsed, high-voltage frequencies to take pictures of the radiating energy fields that surround all living things. Continued years of research prove that all things, whether animate or inanimate, have a vibrant energy field. Today, powerful microscopes show that. At the subatomic level, there are vast distances between each spinning electron, making up any substance. Atoms are 99.9999 to the infinity, empty space. Your body seems solid, but it is made up, as everything is, of dynamic energy in constant vibration. Physicists now understand that the so-called subatomic particles which make up the atom are not really particles at all. They measure the contents of the atom in energy units instead, because it is so much more accurate. Everything found in, on, under, and above the universe has its own unique energy vibration. Energy moves in pulses like waves. How close together the waves are is called frequencies. How frequently the wave occurs. This range of frequencies is called the electromagnetic spectrum. The more positive the energy of any given matter, the closer the frequencies. The more negative the energy of any given matter, the wider the frequencies. In the 1940s, Dr. Harold Saxon Burr, medical researcher at Yale, determined that pathology could be detected in the energy field of the body long before symptoms began to emerge. We now know that the body is 40 to 60 percent involved in the disease when a symptom occurs. Dr. Burr proposed that diseases could be prevented by adjusting or manipulating the energy field. Also in the 1940s, the results of a study done by an Oxford biophysicist, C. W. F. McClare, found that energy signals are 100 times more efficient and infinitely faster than physical chemical signals. In 1956, Japanese scientists did groundbreaking research that proved beyond a doubt that there were both electric and magnetic forces in the body. By exposing the body to pulsing electromagnetic fields, they created electrical changes on a cellular level and altered cell metabolism, known as the piezoelectric effect. Scientific studies have confirmed that the human body is controlled and regulated by a quantum energy field. It is an electromagnetic static being with frequency patterns. They have resonance, reactance, and self-correcting capacities. Each cell in the body operates at a certain vibrational frequency. Together, these frequencies form an energy pattern unique to each individual. It is your personal distinctive thumbprint or address in the universe. Every human thought, emotion, and action has a certain vibrational energy pattern. Viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, diseases, etc. all have resonant energy patterns. Our cells network together to keep our body in harmony. Stress produces erratic vibrations that lead to disharmony, followed by injury and disease. The body's first signal that all is not well is vibrational or electromagnetic. In 1964, 
a squid superconducting quantum interference device was invented by scientists at Ford Research Labs. Using this device, scientists have learned that all of the tissues and organs of the body produce specific magnetic vibrations, biomagnetic fields. It has been determined that the biomagnetic field in the space around the body gives a more accurate reading of the patient's health than traditional electric measurements like the EEGs and the EKGs. Western medicine acknowledges and accepts the existence of this electromagnetic field without reservation, but for many years has only measured the electrical component of it through the EKG, electrocardiogram, which measures the electrical impulses of the heart. First used in 1895, and the EEG, electroencephalogram, which measures the electrical activity of the brain, used since 1913. What is now termed the traditional Western approach to medicine changed during the Civil War when the focus shifted to the external cause of disease, dramatic intervention, and symptom suppression. Also, the development of the pharmaceutical industry has greatly influenced the shift of the Western medicine paradigm from treating the root cause of diseases and disorders and viewing the body from a holistic perspective to a strong focus on medicating symptoms. With this influence and what has become a multi-billion dollar industry, the true traditional approach to healing became alternative. And more natural modalities of healing, such as biofeedback, were portrayed on scientific, new age, and filled with charlatans. Today, mainstream science and Western medicine once again are beginning to acknowledge the existence of the energy meridians used by ancient Chinese medical doctors for thousands of years. Scientific research continues to confirm that we are beings of energy. As technology continues to advance, scientists and doctors are realizing the importance of keeping the body in a state of balance. The latest scientific and medical research is proving how healthy you are is directly related to how balanced your energy field is. Biofeedback is non-invasive technology that energetically scans and harmonizes the body's stresses and imbalances and returns your body back to health by reducing the stressors that cause disease. Biofeedback, also known as neurofeedback, evolved out of early laboratory research in the 1940s. In the 1950s and 1960s, researchers from different fields independently studied various applications of feedback mechanisms to modify physiological functions in animals and humans. During the 1970s and the 1980s, research by a small but dedicated community of scientists continued to develop the discipline. But it wasn't until the 1990s when the hard evidence started to come in. Today, over 1,500 biofeedback specialists are practicing across America, and the number is increasing dramatically. They can be found in clinics, hospitals, rehab centers, and a variety of other therapeutic settings. There are many international biofeedback centers as well. Schools and training are becoming more widely available, and the opportunities for those wishing to enter the field are increasing every day. There are many types of biofeedback systems. The Life System is the latest in biofeedback technology and It detects thousands of energetic aberrations, which means a state or condition markedly different from the norm. The difference between the life system and other biofeedback devices is that most only measure resistance, offering one-way therapy. The life system evaluates and changes the signal therapy, balancing the energetic aberrations presenting by the body. It has been designed to identify and relieve stress patterns, the underlying causes of disease and disorders. The life system facilitates healing through energetic intervention using biofeedback and bioresonance to stimulate the body's own healing mechanisms. The life system relies on 20 plus years of research conducted in the field of bioenergetics and bioresponse medicine. It is certified and registered in Europe as a Class 2A medical device and is FDA approved in the United States.